If you're gonna save the galaxy, you're gonna need some help. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mass Effect teammates. Okay, everyone say Normandy. Normandy. For this list, we're ranking the characters that you can take on missions based on their story, personality, and how useful they are in the field. As such, characters like Joker and Admiral Anderson are excluded this time around. I'll be over here, flying the ship. Number 10, Edie. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Starting this off is an AI with a sexy robot body, voiced by Trisha Helfer, who's best known for playing a killer robot with a sexy human body. Go figure. Introduced in the second game as the Normandy's handy AI, it's not until number three that she gets a shiny, shapely body of her own. Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Chap. Yes, you are, Edie. It's there that she also gets a fleshed out story as she attempts to discover her humanity, most notably in a romantic, if perplexing, relationship with Joker. How do they... yeah, never mind. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. Number 9. Samara. Living the stoic life of an Asari Justicar, Samara is over a thousand years old. This second game squad mate is an ideal choice for crowd control as she sports some of the most powerful biotics in the game. Competent though she may be, it's her actions outside of battle that make her most memorable, as you must aid her on her quest to kill her murderous daughter. I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this, so I must die. You are a disease to be purged, nothing more. And she's the only character that will reject you if you try to romance her. In another time, another life. Though persistence does pay off in the Citadel DLC. Just hold me now. Let us live in this moment. Number 8, Grunt. An artificially made Krogan designed to circumvent the Genophage, Grunt is awoken by Shepard with only a handful of artificial memories to work on. Before you die, I need a name. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not your name, mine. Though he's technically got the mind of a teenager, on the battlefield he's the ideal choice for charging enemies with brute force. It's in the third game's DLC that you can witness his rebellious young nature get him into all sorts of hilarious trouble. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. Number 7. Thane Krios. An assassin of the endangered Drell species, Thane is cursed with a terminal illness. My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Nonetheless, Thane is a skilled marksman on the field with a sniper rifle, and he's not too shabby with biotics either. On the Normandy, he seeks redemption for the lives he's taken as an assassin, haunted by his perfect memory. Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. Though he meets a sad end at the hands of another assassin, his heartbreaking death is avenged in full. That was profane, you son of a bitch. Number 6, Morden Solis. A Solarian, yes, very skilled at burning enemies alive. Brilliant scientist, tends to talk like someone who's had too much caffeine. For the love of God, take a breath. Blah, uh, sorry. Morden is a former STG operative whose fast thinking and slightly psychotic dialogue makes him a welcome addition to the Normandy crew. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Wrought with guilt for modifying and strengthening the Genophage, his final chance at redemption in Mass Effect 3 left many a gamer in tears. Number 5, Legion. The last squad mate you acquire in Mass Effect 2, Legion is a Geth. Shepard Commander. But a good Geth, since he can operate outside the controlling veil, making him unique. 
Outside of battle, he doesn't get along with Tally, given the whole taking their homeworld problem. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. But the two do end up working together in the third game, up until Shepard has to make a critical choice, both of which result in losing our favorite automaton. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Number four, Dr. Liara Tsoni. An Asari archaeologist, Liara is young by Asari standards at only 106 years old. Damn, I hope I look that good when I'm your age. And that's in their years. Liara is first introduced being stuck in a dig site on Therum in the first game, and is one of the first three characters available for romance, regardless of the gender of your character. In the second game, she ends up taking on a massive role. Shadow Broker, out. While in the third, she becomes your second in command, as she uses her Shadow Broker resources to save the galaxy from the Reapers. What I want most is for this war to end, while there's still a galaxy left to save. Number three, Tali Zora Vasa Normandy. Tali is a Quarian, a species with weakened immune systems, hence the suits, that have been exiled from their homeworld. We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. Tali is one of the only two characters that can assist you in all three games. In the first game, she's ideal to take to uncharted worlds to hack all those chests. While in the second and third, she's also ideal for Geth extermination with her overload and hacking abilities. Oh, and there's also this infamous scene from the third game. Torian Brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Number two, Erdnot Rex. Shepard. A Krogan mercenary turned clan leader, Rex can only join you in the first game, but like any Krogan, he has the ability to charge his enemies, with extra biotics thrown in for fun. I am Urban Rex, and this is my planet! Rex is also the first teammate in the Mass Effect series that can die if you're unable to convince him to destroy Saren's lab on Vermeer. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. If you can talk him out of that situation, in the Citadel DLC, you can bring him along once more for some good old Krogan beatdown. Hmm. You got me dressed up like this and someone else got to do the shooting. Rex not happy. Before we get to the top spot, let's take a look at who else we'd like to take with us. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Miranda, but you were... Dead? Shepard. Number one, Garrus Vicarian. I thought you were dead. Taking the top spot is our favorite Turian, who's a badass mercenary capable of taking on three criminal gangs at once. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. The second of the only two characters that you can take in all three games, Garrus is also a hilariously awkward love interest who has some of the best romance scenes in the series. If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your fringe, so your um, hair looks good. But there's one thing we're a little questionable about. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. How long does it take to calibrate a cannon before it's fully optimized? Come on. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Do you agree with our list? Which members of your squad do you want to get to know? Uh, in a PG way, of course. Ahem. <coughs> Ahem. <coughs> For more energetic top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That's why I love hanging out with you guys. Why shoot something once? when you can shoot it 46 more times.